Hello, you are welcome to solve this math problem, which is a square minus b is equal to 13. b square minus a is equal to 13. To find the values of a's and b's from these two systems of equations. So let's start by letting this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Now in the first step, we'll take equation 1 minus equation 2. Now, from the left side, we'll take a square minus b, so it will be a square minus b, then minus equation 2 in the left side, it is b square minus a, so it will be bracket b square minus a, bracket is equal to equation 1 minus equation 2 in the right side, it will be 13 minus 13, it is 0. Then we'll open this bracket, so it will be a square minus b, here it will be minus b square, here it will be plus a is equal to 0. Then in the next step, we'll start with the difference of two squares. So it will be a square minus b square. So here, a square minus b square, then bracket. Then we'll take a minus b. So here it will be plus a minus b. Then you can place bracket is equal to 0. Then from here, a square minus b square, this difference of two squares is same as a plus b, bracket, bracket, a minus b, bracket, then plus this a minus b. So here to be bracket, a minus b, bracket is equal to zero. Then in the next step, from here, a minus b is common. So we'll take a minus b, bracket, out of bracket, then this here divided by a minus b, it is a plus b. So it will be a plus b, then plus a minus b divided by a minus b, it is 1, bracket is equal to 0. Then from here we have two solutions. Whereas this first solution of a minus b is equal to 0, and this second solution of a plus b plus 1 is equal to 0. Then from this first solution, we'll take negative b to the right side. So it will be a is equal to b. So this will call this equation 3. And here we'll make a the subject. So it will be a is equal to b. We'll take to this side to be minus b. 1 will take to this side to be minus 1. So this will call this equation 4. Then in the next step, we we'll recall from equation 1. Now, from equation 1, it is a square minus b is equal to 13. So, from equation 1, which is a square minus b is equal to 13, into here, a is equal to b. So, here, a square, it will be b square, because a is equal to b, then minus b is equal to 13. Then it will be b square minus b, we take 13 to this side to be minus 13 is equal to 0. Then from here, this quadratic equation will solve by using quadratic formula to find the values of b, which is b is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. So it will be b is equal to from here b square coefficient of b square it is a so a so let's write here a is equal to 1 which is coefficient of b square and here coefficient of b is negative so it will be negative 1 so b is equal to negative 1 and c is equal to constant which is negative 13 so here negative 13 then negative b it will be negative b it is negative 1 so here to be bracket negative 1 plus or minus square root of b square it will be negative 1 bracket square then minus 4 times a it is 1 times c c is negative 13 then here bracket then over 2 times a a it is 1 then in the next step, it will be b is equal to negative times negative 1, it is positive 1, plus or minus 
square root of negative 1 square it is positive 1 negative 4 times 1 times negative 13 it is positive 4 times 13 here 4 times 3 is 12 goes 1 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 it will be 5 then over 2 times 1 it is 2 then it will be b is equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 52 it is 53 then over 2 then in the next step from here into this side here into this solution a is equal to b so here if a is equal to b then it is equal to this which is 1 plus or minus square root of 53 over 2 so into here to find a and b's it will be a comma b is equal to a is equal to b so it will be 1 plus square root of 53 over 2 so here bracket 1 plus square root of 53 over 2 then comma b it will be 1 minus square root of 53 over 2 i mean when it, a is equal to b so this a is equal to b so it will be 1 plus square root of 53 over 2 bracket then the second solution when it is negative here so it will be a comma b is equal to when it is negative it will be 1 minus square root of 53 over 2 so here 1 minus square root of 53 over 2 comma a is equal to b so this a it will be equal to b so to be comma 1 minus square root of 53 over 2 so these are the first solutions from the first solution which are real number also they are called irrational numbers then let's solve from the second solution now from this step here a is equal to negative b minus 1 then we recall the first equation so from here from equation 1 so from equation 1 from equation 1 which is a this one a square minus b is equal to 13 so from a square minus b is equal to 13 then a it will be this here negative b minus 1 so negative b minus 1 bracket square minus b is equal to 13 then we'll expand this here so it will be negative b bracket square then plus 2 times negative b times negative 1 so bracket negative b negative 1 then plus negative 1 square so negative 1 bracket square then minus b is equal to 13 then here negative b square it is positive b square then plus negative b times negative 1 is positive b b times 2 it is 2 b then plus negative 1 square it is 1 then minus b is equal to 13 then here it will be b square 2b minus b it is b so it will be plus b then plus this 1 is equal to 13 then it will be b square plus b 13 will take this side to be 1 minus 13 it will be minus 12 is equal to 0 now from this quadratic equation it can be solved by grouping and factorization because 12 12 is same as 4 times 3 so we'll split this b here so it will be b square then b is same as 4b minus 3b so here to be plus 4b minus 3b then minus 12 is equal to 0 then from here b is common so we'll take b out of bracket b squared divided by b it is b 4b divided by b it will be plus 4 bracket then here we'll take negative 3 out of bracket negative 3b divided by negative 3 it is positive b 
negative 12 divided by negative 3, it is positive 4, bracket is equal to 0. Then from here, b plus 4 is common. So we'll take b plus 4, bracket, out of bracket. This here, divided by b plus 4, it is b, so b. Negative 3 times b plus 4, divided by b plus 4, it is negative 3. So here to b minus 3, bracket is equal to 0. Then in the next step, from here we have two solutions. So it will be, first solution, it will be b plus 4 is equal to 0. So here, it will be b plus 4 is equal to 0. And we have this solution, b minus 3 is equal to 0. So b minus 3 is equal to 0. Then in the next step, from here we have this 4, we'll take to this side, it will be b is equal to negative 4. And this negative 3, we'll take to this side, it will be b is equal to 3. Then from this second solution, we have this fourth, fourth equation, which is a is equal to negative b minus 1. So we'll use a is equal to negative b minus 1. So it will be a is equal to negative b b is negative 4 so it will be bracket negative 4 bracket then minus 1 here it will be a is equal to we'll use this here negative b minus 1 so it will be negative b is 3 so it will be negative 3 then minus 1 so it will be a is equal to negative 3 minus 1 it is negative 4 sorry here we didn't finish it so it will be a is equal to negative and negative 4 to be positive 4 then minus 1 so it will be a is equal to 4 minus 1 it is 3 so here we have a comma b so a comma b is equal to 3 comma negative 4 so it will be bracket 3 comma negative 4 then into here a comma b it will be negative 4 comma 3 this here so a comma b is equal to negative 4 comma 3 so here we have other two solutions so we have total four solutions these are integers and these are irrational numbers now let's check so to check To check from these irrational numbers from the first we'll use the first equation whereas the first equation it is a square minus b is equal to 13 now by using the first solution of these irrational numbers it will be the first solution so a comma b is equal to into here we'll divide by two in both so it will be 1 over 2 plus square root of 53 over 2. So here it will be 1 over 2 plus square root of 53 over 2, comma. B, it will be 1 over 2 plus square root of 53 over 2. So here 1 over 2 then plus square root of 53 over 2. Then here it will be a square it will be this square here so it will be 1 over 2 plus square root of 53 over 2 then bracket square minus b b will substitute this here so it will be bracket 1 over 2 plus square root of 53 over 2 bracket is equal to this 13 then to expand this it will be a half bracket square then plus 2 times a half times this square root of 53 over 2 then plus square root of 53 over 2 so here to be square root of 53 over 2 then bracket square then we open the bracket by this negative so it will be negative a half here it will be negative square root of 53 over 2 then it is equal to this 13. Then here, a half square, it is 1 over 4. 
then plus this two will cancel this two so it will be this square root of 53 over 2 then plus we'll expand this here so square root of 53 square it will be 53 over 2 square it is 4 then minus a half then minus square root of 53 over 2 is equal to 13 then from here square root of 53 over 2 minus square root of 53 over 2 it will be 0 so it will cancel then it will be 1 over 4 minus a half it is negative 1 over 4 then plus this 53 so not square root it is 53 over 4 is it equal to 13 then from here the lsm it is 4 so it will be 4 divided by 4 is 1 1 times negative 1 it is negative 1 4 divided by 4 is 1 1 times 53 it is 53 so it will be plus 53 is equal to 13 now 53 minus 1 it is 52 over 4 is it equal to 13 now 53 i mean 52 minus 1 it is 52 so 52 divided by 4 it is 13 is equal to 13 so left side and right side are equal then it is true for these uh, irrational numbers for the first solution also for the second solution it will be correct just yes, we can check this second solution now let's check for these integers positive numbers positive integers and negative integers so from our uh, from the first equation which is a square minus b is equal to 13 we will use the first solution here to check so from a comma b is equal to 3 comma negative 4 so a square it will be 3 square then minus b b it is negative 4 so it will be bracket negative 4 bracket is it equal to this 13 now 3 square it is 9 minus minus 4 it is positive 4 is it equal to 13 now 9 plus 4 it is 13 is equal to 13 so left side and right side are equal then it is true for this first for this solution here also for this solution you can check it it is correct thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye